If you're in the market to buy a home in the Austin area, it's probably not going to take you very long to figure out that a house for less than $300,000 is fast becoming something that just does not exist. Now you might see listings for houses in that mid to upper $200,000 range, but that does not mean that they're actually going to sell for that. There is intense buyer demand and most of these buyers have cash to cover up any appraisal limitations. So actual sales prices are coming in at 20 to 40% over the list price. Now this is bad news if your pre-approval is for under $300,000. But the good news is there might be some options for you in Elgin. And if you stick around for this video, I'll tell you all about it. Now when most people hear Elgin, they think, oh, that's so far away, which really doesn't make a whole lot of sense because Lakeway is a little over 20 miles from downtown Austin and it will take you 35 to 40 minutes to wind through all the hill country to get there. Leander is a little over 27 miles from downtown, straight up 183, and it's gonna take you 30 minutes to get there if there's no traffic. Elgin is a little over 25 miles, straight out 290, and notice that the drive time there is about the same as Leander. I don't know why, but that whole area east of Austin is often overlooked. There's huge demand and bidding wars north and south, and anything west is gonna be way outside a $300,000 budget. Part of it might be aesthetics, because a lot of that area along 290 and 130 is underdeveloped and has a rural feel. But with the number of people moving to Austin with no signs of it slowing down, you might ask yourself, does it make sense to continue to try to buy something in an area where sales prices are 20 to 40% over list price, especially if you don't have a lot of cash to be able to put in offers that are gonna be competitive. Now you could continue to put in offers at or slightly above list price and hope that magically this demand goes away and you'll be able to buy a house for what it's actually listed for. Or you could look at an area like Elgin and think more in terms of what it might become as opposed to what it is now. Take a look at this map. You have the Amazon and FedEx distribution centers in Pflugerville. The Tesla factory is gonna be here and the Samsung plant is here. If you haven't heard, Samsung's presence will likely be expanded with a new $17 billion chip making plant. With all those employers coming to the area, what do you think might happen to those areas along 290 and 130 over the course of the next five to 10 years? And even though list prices are under $300,000 now, that does not mean they're gonna stay that way forever. Take a look at this email response from a listing agent on a house in Maynard. I blacked out the property address and the listing agent's name. The house was listed for $230,000, and my client offered $20,000 over list price, which was a 10% premium. The top offers were between $280 and $295. So if houses in Maynard listed between $220 and $230 are actually selling for $280 to $300, how much longer do you think it's going to take before that kind of buyer activity moves further east down $290 to Elgin? Well, I hope this is helpful. You know, I get emails, texts, and phone calls almost every day for people who are thinking about buying or selling real estate here in the Austin area, and I would love to help you out too. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. All of my contact information is in the video description, so don't be shy. Let's make your real estate dreams come true.